Uh, I'm Matthias Duarte. I'm a VP of Design at Google. Started at Google about 14 years ago, and then I was really concerned at making design credible and accessible to technology. Now Google is really matured with design and really great at it. And so now I'm looking for that next frontier of really bringing the spark of design to life in everything that we do. There is absolutely no substitute for getting in there and understanding your customers, having uh, research, having designers on the ground, uh, having a lot of expertise in the market, right? Um, you can have accessibility best practices, you can have internationalization best practices, but you really need to embed uh, to deliver products that are relevant. Now, that's always a challenge, and that's actually one of the coolest things about the Gen AI opportunity, is that we're gonna be able to do this better and at more scale by being able to do this more accurately in more places. One of the most exciting things we did with uh, after the initial launch of material design was to internationalize it and make sure that it was globally relevant. We actually hosted, I think it was our second material design conference in Japan uh, because we were so excited about how we'd brought it to a greater number of, of territories with really localized and uh, specialized content, not just in the designs themselves, but also in all the UI guidance that we were able to give to the designers working in those spaces. Design is undergoing a lot of changes, and it's going to undergo a lot more changes as Gen AI tools become more and more part of our everyday work. The thing to remember is that the, the fundamental elements of design, understanding what the problem is, understanding who the customer is, understanding how to communicate and evaluate, those things aren't changing. So my advice to designers is you have to lean into these transformations and, you know, be playing and working with all of the, the innovation and the tools that are coming to market, but also not lose sight of those design fundamentals. One of the things that's actually super cool is that design and product are going to become proportionally more important in the future. Because as uh, Gen AI um, helps everybody do so much work, um, it's reducing the cost of coding. It's reducing the cost of, of the, the making of the thing at scale. But the product thinking and the design thinking, the creativity, um, that's still needed. And so proportionally, you're going to see less of a need for huge engineering teams. And you're going to have much more balance uh, dynamics between engineering, design, and product. And, and I think that's super cool. I, I, I feel like it's almost silly to say it because it's clearly it's, it's generative AI, right? Uh, Gen AI is uh, such a transformation and, and um, everybody's you know, looking at all of the different ways it's gonna impact every aspect of our work, the creative aspects, but also the non-creative aspects, the communication aspects, the collaboration aspects. Um, the part that excites me about how that's going to manifest is not, you know, hey, it's going to make more people creative directors, it's going to make people more efficient. What I'm excited about is how that's going to enable design to touch more people, to be more personalized for more people. Um, uh, I, I get on my soapbox about this all the time. I feel like Digital product design is too cookie cutter. It's too lowest common denominator, no matter how much we do for uh, localization, internationalization, accessibility, it's still, we have limitations. But with generative AI, we're going to be able to bring really truly personalized design to every locale, to every population, to every market segment, and ultimately to every individual. And that is like a whole new way to design. And it's, I don't know, it's the most exciting thing I've ever seen in uh, my career. Well, I think I think it's I think it's interesting because, um, like I said earlier, I think a lot of the the design fundamentals, the idea of like understanding what is well crafted, understanding what is impactful, um, being able to communicate why 
that's effective and to tell a story around it, right? Like those things are, are, are just as important and those skill sets are, are, are necessary no matter how the tools evolve, right? If you think about it, um, it's almost like we were talking about with the, with the, um, the augmenting the, the, the employees, the augmenting the CEO example from the conference, uh, from the panel. Um, it, your skills as a designer, when you have AGI tools that, that, that help you, Gen AI tools, sorry, that help you, um, are going to be the kind of skills that you need to, as as a creative director, as you know, uh, as as a product um, um, uh, product management leader, you know, who's overseeing a design team, right? So, those skill sets are 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 ones that you need to hone and that you need to develop, and that those are going to be like kind of at the forefront of the interface to the tools. But it doesn't mean you can neglect the fundamentals, right? Because even though you can scale yourself to be more efficient, right? You still need to understand the, the why is this good? Why is this impactful? What is, what is again, that, that, that human spark, that magic spark um, that, that, is, that makes the design a wonderful design and not just a solution to a problem?